Hello, and in this video, we're going to look at how to run our air source heat pump systems as efficiently as possible. We're going to dive into weather compensation, hot water, heating schedules, and TRV do's and don'ts. So let's get into it. If you have radiators in your home, then you'll have TRVs. TRV stands for thermostatic radiator valves, and these can be adjusted. So you'll have one of these on each one of your radiators. The thermostatic radiator valve has a dial on it, which can turn the radiator up or down. Now that we've got an air source heat pump, we want to make sure that these are turned up all the time. And this is because we've calculated the heat loss for your home and shutting down one of your radiators will in effect basically oversize your air source heat pump. This can then cause cycling and then excessive running costs. Weather compensation is absolutely crucial when it comes to air source heat pump efficiency. But what is weather compensation and why is it so important? As the ambient air temperature outside decreases, the flow temperature of the water running through our heating system increases. And this means for a more efficient system, we can adjust the flow temperature depending on the outdoor temperature. And this is done automatically within our weather compensation curve. If you have an ideal system, this is already set up for optimal efficiency and doesn't require any tweaking. However, if you have a daking system and would like to change the weather compensation curves from the settings in your installer menu, follow our link to our Dakin MMI controller how-to video. And alternatively, you can head over to our YouTube channel where you'll find our controller how-tos along with tons of other helpful videos. When it comes to heating, an air source heat pump is completely different to a gas boiler. With a gas boiler, we can put in as many schedules as we want and turn it on and off. When it gets up to temperature, it will turn itself off again until the temperature drops and then it will turn itself back on again. With an air source heat pump, the most efficient way is to leave it running all the time. Where a gas boiler can deliver heat fast and hard, an air source heat pump is low and slow, giving you thermal comfort throughout the day. To do this, you'll need to set up a schedule on your home MMI to be a constant temperature through the day and overnight we can set back that temperature a few degrees, making sure our heat pump is cruising at consistent temperature 24-7. When looking at hot water, this is very much dependent on how much hot water you use and what you've got in your home. So, if you've got no solar panels, no battery, and you're not on the EDF heat pump tariff, then the most efficient way to run this is in reheat, which means we'll set the temperature which you want for your hot water, which will be around 47, 48 degrees to make it as efficient as possible. And then the heat pump will just top up the temperature all the time, giving you hot water when you need it. If you've got solar panels, you may choose to do a schedule during the day. And this is because the sun's at its highest point, giving you as much solar as possible and the ambient air temperature outside will be its warmest, making the air source heat pump as efficient as possible. Other options are, if you've got batteries, you may choose to do a schedule overnight when you've charged those batteries with the solar through the day, or if you're on the EDF heat pump tariff, you can choose your slotted times to do your hot water when your electricity is as cheap as it possibly can. If you'd like to know how to set your heating or your hot water schedules, we have a video for the Ideal Halo and a separate video for the Dakin MMI, or as mentioned earlier, just head over to our CB Heating YouTube channel to find those videos and other helpful information. Thanks for watching.